What's up guys, Sean Nalawani, seannal.com. And uh, a lot of people have asked for a video about mini cutting, and so that's what I'll be covering today. And uh, I'm just gonna break this down into three quick sections by going over what a mini cut is, when to do it, and how to do it in terms of the actual steps. So uh, let's get right into it. First off, what is a mini cut? Uh, most of you who are watching this right now probably already know, but a mini cut, uh, just like the name says, is just a brief fat loss phase that's done at some point during a bulk in order to drop some of the excess fat that you've accumulated. Uh, anytime you eat in uh, a calorie surplus where the goal is to fully maximize muscle growth, you will gain some body fat along the way. So if you've been doing a prolonged bulk and uh, your body fat has climbed up a bit too high, but you haven't reached your muscle building goal yet and you wanna continue adding more size, uh, a mini cut is a good way to burn off some of that excess fat so that you can go back to gaining muscle while keeping your overall body fat percentage under control. The second question is when is a mini cut appropriate? Uh, again, a mini cut would make sense when your body fat levels have gotten too high during a bulk. Uh, or the other reason might be if you wanted to lean down and lose a few pounds of fat for an upcoming event. So maybe you're already reasonably lean at uh, 12 or 13% body fat but you wanna lose a small amount of fat for maybe a photo shoot or a vacation or something along those lines, and it's only a few weeks away. That's another situation where uh, a mini cut could be used. Now, going back to the first and the most common reason, which is to lean down during a bulk, uh, what body fat level would be considered too high to where a mini cut would make sense? Uh, keep in mind that this is partly an issue of personal preference, uh, because as long as you are still within a healthy body fat range, then it really depends on what your goals are and what sort of look you're shooting for. So I'm gonna answer this assuming that you're after the, uh, the standard aesthetic physique, meaning that you wanna be both decently lean and muscular, and you wanna look good all year round without letting your body fat levels get too high. Uh, I did a video uh, a few weeks ago outlining what uh, I would consider to be the ideal body fat percentage for males uh, who want that type of physique. And the figure that I gave was anywhere between about 10 to 15% body fat. So if you're bulking and you get to that very upper end of the range or a bit beyond, so uh, you know 15% or 16%, maybe 17% depending on the person, uh, assuming that you wanna stay decently lean year round, that's gonna be a good time for a mini cut. Now again, like I said, this is partly personal preference though, and keep in mind that even all the way up to uh, around 19 or 20% body fat is still considered to be a healthy percentage for a male. So if you're going for that bigger, bulkier look, uh, or you're just genuinely okay with carrying a bit more fat while you focus on gaining muscle, uh, then going a bit higher is ultimately okay because as long as you're in a healthy range, then no one can really tell you what exact percentage you should be. It's really your call. Uh, but if you're at a point where uh, you're genuinely not happy with how much fat you're carrying and it's affecting your motivation and it's affecting your desire to bulk further, that's definitely gonna be a good time for a mini cut to help you lean down and reset things uh, so that you can just comfortably go back to focusing on gaining more muscle. And also keep in mind that if your ultimate goal is to be in that leaner body fat range, then uh, the higher your body fat percentage gets while bulking, the longer you're gonna need to spend cutting later on. So uh, rather than having to do a long drawn out diet in order to lose the excess fat, uh, the use of mini cutting is gonna help to keep your body fat levels permanently under control so that you never have to go through a long, tedious dieting phase later on. So with that out of the way, here's how to actually do a mini cut, and it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, first off, you don't need to bother with a typical uh, bulking to cutting transition phase in this case, because your goal here is just to be as efficient as possible, drop some fat fairly quickly, and then get back to your muscle building phase. So instead of gradually dropping your calories from week to week, you're usually just gonna be best off to go straight from a surplus right into a deficit uh, so that you can start losing fat right away. If you really wanna minimize hunger and you're okay with the process taking a couple extra weeks and uh, you're not in a rush, then you can use a transition phase like I talked about last week. Uh, I'll link that video in the description box. But in the case of a mini cut, I generally recommend just going right into a normal deficit in order to save time. Now, a standard 
uh, calorie deficit for fat loss would be about 500 calories below maintenance. So that would be my default recommendation. Uh, but because a mini cut is fairly short, you can use a more aggressive deficit and just tough it out depending on how much fat you wanna lose and how long you want your mini cut to last. So I would say that up to about 750 calories below maintenance would be fine. Uh, some people can go even more aggressive than that if it's for a short period and if it's done properly. Uh, but for most people in most situations, somewhere between 500 to 750 calories below maintenance uh, is gonna be a good safe guideline. And as long as you're continuing to weight train and uh, you're consuming enough protein, so somewhere around 0.8 to one gram per pound of body weight daily, uh, then muscle loss and strength loss is not gonna be an issue here. Uh, and if you've lost track during your bulk and you don't really know what your current calorie maintenance level is, uh, I'll outline a few equations that you can use in the description box below uh, in order to estimate it. But uh, I'm not gonna go over all of those in this video, otherwise this is gonna drag on for too long. So uh, check the description box for that. Now, how long your mini cut lasts really just depends on how much fat you're wanting to lose uh, as well as the size of your deficit. But anywhere from as short as two weeks up to a maximum of six weeks, that would be pretty standard because uh, if you go beyond six weeks, then at that point, it's really just a regular cutting phase as opposed to a mini cut. And keep in mind that the point of a mini cut is not to get uh, shredded abs and striated delts. The point is just to drop a bit of excess fat so that you can get back to an acceptable level uh, so that you can keep on bulking. And so the idea here is to keep it brief. So depending on uh, your overall activity level throughout the week, uh, a calorie deficit of 500 to 750 below maintenance, uh, that's gonna produce somewhere between one to two pounds of fat loss per week. So you can just gauge the length of your mini cut off of that depending on how much fat you wanna lose. Also keep in mind that your actual body weight uh, will usually drop by a higher amount than that, especially in the first week. Uh, but that's mostly due to just having less actual food in your system. And also you'll be storing a bit less glycogen and retaining a bit less water from the lower calories. So if you do drop uh, three or four pounds really quickly, uh, don't be alarmed because that's normal. And once you go back to bulking at the higher calories, uh, that glycogen weight and that water weight is gonna come back. Uh, and then lastly, in terms of transitioning back to bulking after your mini cut is over. Uh, you don't need any sort of long drawn out phase here either, uh, but you also don't wanna just jump right back into a big surplus and uh, start eating based purely on hunger. Otherwise you'll uh, probably overeat and you could very easily end up erasing a good portion of the fat loss that you achieved uh, during the mini cutting period. Uh, even though a mini cut is short, you're still gonna have food cravings once it's over uh, especially if you were using a larger deficit. So make sure to go back to your surplus in a controlled manner. And uh, I think that a good method for that is to just go back to eating at your calorie maintenance level for about one week, let your weight stabilize, and then move right into your regular calorie surplus from there. So uh, that pretty much covers the topic of mini cutting. Again, there's not a lot to it. Uh, but before I close the video out, I just wanna outline one more thing that I think is important here. And that is to make sure that you don't use the fact that mini cuts exist to justify overly aggressive bulking. Uh, remember that muscle growth is a slow and gradual process and that it only takes a relatively small calorie surplus in order to maximize muscle growth over any given period. And uh, any excess beyond that is just gonna be stored as fat. So slow, lean bulking, uh, is pretty much always gonna be the best approach in my opinion. And you don't wanna get into this mindset of uh, you know, basically binging during your bulk and gaining a bunch of fat, then doing a mini cut to lose the fat, and then going back to bulking and doing the same thing all over again. Because when you add that up over the long term, uh, you're gonna end up wasting a lot of time and making very little progress in either direction. Because you'll be gaining way more fat than muscle during those bulking cycles and then wasting time to drop the fat, and then just yo-yoing back and forth, never really gaining much muscle and never really getting that lean. Uh, and that's a very common thing that I see all the time. So make sure to focus on gradual lean gains when you're bulking and only insert a mini cut into the mix uh, if it's truly necessary. And if you're bulking properly, uh, starting from a lean body fat percentage like you should be, and you're being patient, then you really shouldn't need to do mini cuts very often, uh, if at all.
So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you do wanna grab a complete step-by-step -step plan that shows you how to lay out a proper bulking or cutting phase from A to Z, uh, the workouts, the meal plans, supplement guides, and one-on-one -on -one coaching, then you can check out my Body Transformation Blueprint by clicking here or by visiting bodytransformationtruth.com. The link is in the description box. Uh, make sure to follow me on social media here. The links for that are also in the description. The official website is seannow.com. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment. Uh, and subscribe to stay up to date. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.